I don't know. I mean, hey, welcome everyone. Uh, <laughs> welcome everyone back to you know like a random video. For the time being, you know, like since because uh, you know like a uh, for one of me just you know to you know get rid of my well get rid of like a little weapon here I'd say because this thing it feel like it's unsafe as fuck and I'll show you and I'll show you why as well too. So basically, you know what what I'm gonna do like here like a uh, a lighter survival challenge you know this thing like I said has been modified in a tune way it's very very unsafe and whatnot of course I mean the flares all beautiful not but it's very unsafe so you know just uh well I mean just uh you know as a bit of a long challenge I mean don't do this at home this is very unsafe and you'll see why but basically you know because of all the light about the light effects whatnot the people would actually be all <laughs> and whatnot so, for starters, I'm just, you know, going, uh, well, I guess I shouldn't even bother about that anymore. So, I basically just have, I just, I just have, you know, like, uh, burn down all the fuel here, the, uh, the slider here, until, until it really dries up, and then, you know, like, I'm going to have to see myself here for another, for another one of these little toys and whatnot. But, you know, that'll be for another day and whatnot. Oh, yeah, here we go. Sometimes, sometimes this thing here, this it, uh, it spews off a fuel on my hands, so you know I have to, you know, give it a bit of a break from time to time. Stupid person wants to. Had to cool off for you for a bit and for a bit. But yeah, like I said again, don't do this at home. I'm just doing this because I feel like it. But even still, I mean, that still looks like a very bad idea. Why not? So get the fucking fuel down there. Well, yeah, fucking asshole. Alright, because I know, because I know you guys do like the, do like the fire effects as well, right? But also another thing as well too, like uh, it's basically something I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna keep set up. What for? Simply know to select it. It's just to uh, see what a fire effect would look like. Speaking of which, I know this wouldn't be like a very wise idea, but still. Uh, right. Hmm. Let me think for a bit here. Let me think. I, for one, I mean, I can't cut the video here for the time being, so I, of course, would, uh, uh should have planned, should have been brought a little bit more prepared for this here, but, eh. Oh, shit, then. Besides, I mean, I'm gonna have to see about what else can I do to uh, make sure I won't screw myself over here for the time being. Oh, here's one of, one of my best bets. I mean, I got this uh, beer bottle over here. Which is a one. Right. Mm. Right then. <sighs> so basically, I like I said before, I am not a smoker, but for a good re and for good reason. But still, I mean, you might be one kind of kind of wondering, like, where they get this uh, brand new cigarette and. Uh, uh, why do I have it if I'm not even smoke, right? Ah, now they now you now here you have a bit of a twist. I mean, sometimes of course, uh, just for shits and giggles, or whatnot. So I just huff and puff, or not. Sure, I know I'm smoking, or whatnot. But uh, keep in mind, don't do all this stuff. I mean, the mostly the mostly you not know, the uh, the entire stuff I do here is it's gonna be very very fucking risky. So don't do it all, please. It's a horrible idea. Right. Hmm. Or should I not? Because you know, I mean, one of uh, one of the uh, the main reason, of course, why we well, you know I have I have cigarettes like this is because let's say um, you're at this one party, right? And uh, you know, there's there's one chick that uh, you know she smokes, but hopefully she over, over the future she's not gonna smoke anymore. So basically, you have you take a cigarette, let's say, to lure her in, 
And let's say like here, like, oh god, I like hand time, why not? So you basically, you know, like, uh, sure, one of this? Yeah, got a light, here you go. <laughs> but yeah, but basically, you know, like, uh, try just try to avoid smoke, try to avoid smoke and whatnot, because, uh, for one, I mean, this thing is just a heavy addictive or not. Uh, I mean, but yeah, I mean, this is not the, f this, is, this is not the first shit I smoked, because, uh, I smoked a cigar once, it made me fucking sick to the cut. But yeah, I mean, I, I survived a cigar, which of course has like a 50 times the, uh, the chemicals on this thing here, right? So, why not? Research, don't do this at home at all. It's a very, very, it's a, don't do this at all at home because it's a really, really bad choice. Smoke is bad, and uh, yeah. Besides, well, too, like, another thing, like, uh, I did notice about the cigarette, the, the cigar here. You do remember how I once tried to smoke salt, right? So, basically, you do the same thing, like, just basically, like, uh, like a paper clip, just take out all the tobacco inside and replace with your own herb and whatever shit. And then just smoke it all up, because why the hell not, right? Because you got, like, this, uh, this little filter here, so whenever marijuana you're smoking, it's real good, so. I mean, just, uh, just to bring it out there, you know. Hey, I mean, could be more, much more fancy, right? Who knows? I changed my mind. Let's not smoke at all. Because seeing all the flare in my face is definitely a no no. Ah, uh, shit. But yeah, I mean, there's no need for this one here for the time being, so that was all just a really bad idea, and thankfully that didn't happen. Uh, you know, like, you, you can't do this thing all too, or too often, because otherwise you're gonna hurt yourself, because. This thing here is, uh, is obviously going to spew off some, uh, some, uh, fire whatnot. So I'm just trying to get myself here, it's going to spew off some, well, to spew off, you know, some fuel. But, I mean, that only happens when it's, like, a much more filled up. So, so far, so good is what I'm doing here. You can see, like, the water levels over here. <laughs> Waters. It's actually a little bit good whatnot. Supposedly. Of course, you could just refuel this up and whatnot, but uh, a cigar, a little lighter like this, you could get a eat like a dollar store. So why ref why waste money on on something, right? I realized something. You know the forest, right? You know the character when he just let's say walked around with a little little dollar dollar store uh, light around. Why does that motherfucker haven't discovered this flare yet? Seriously. Look, just pay attention to how much light it comes from it. See, look at that. Light. And if it's all dark here, you can just explore here anyway, right? It's fucking easy. It's... Well, I mean, that's actually, of course, an interesting concept to do, but seriously. Like lost in a cave and just like a like a little little light over here, but uh, like this. But uh, now the twist is, I mean, with the with the light like this, uh, of course, if your fuel is going to burn off a whole lot quicker because you know, the flame's much higher. But of course, the light is of course a whole lot better too. But still, you know, it's you know a little it has a twist to it. Let's finish up this little little bastard and call it a call it a get in for this challenge, right? But hey. Don't do that on because you know when this thing is, is filled up, it's gonna spew on fuel everywhere and it's, it's gonna hurt. See, look at this. Of course, when I when when I see you know the uh, uh, the oxygen is cut off, you know from the uh, from the fire here. Basically, you know, I just have to stop because uh, as you can see here, the flame is a little bit off top off the top, right? But as soon as it gets closer. And it touches here, then I have to stop it because, uh, because for one, I mean, it's over here. Over here is mostly plastic, so it's it's gonna melt off, of course. 
And it's gonna be quite dangerous as well too. Alright. Uh, just a little bit of a tickle line over here. The fucking hell did this thing here work? Hmm. There you go. Okay, everything here looks a whole lot more dry as well, too. Because for one, I, mean, I definitely don't want to just think it detonated on my, on my hand. Look at me, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm exploring a cave. I'm reading like through walls and whatnot. See? Much, much better. Okay, that's all the fuel there was here. I mean, from, from, the, from the reserve chambers. And now just to burn it off down. Mm hmm. You know what I'm thinking? I mean, since, you know, the hose, the little hose, you know, that's supposedly sucking all the fuel from the ground is not, uh, is not that big enough. I decided, you know, to do this. The pliers here, this thing here. Now, the funny thing is here, the little fuel here, it looks like it's, uh, liquid, right? But, uh, the more we get in contact with, uh, oxygen, it gets, uh, shit, it gets pretty cold. Let me just break it off here, so I can show you. Pieces are actually flying everywhere. Oh, come on, really? Not as much as well. I got this little cap thing that's uh, preventing all the fuel from coming off or whatnot. Ah, uh, you little shit. Making everything a whole lot more complicated, aren't you? Aha! There you go. Oh, it's pretty cold, actually. Look. Ooh. Holy shit. Yeah. I was able to just pour like a little drip on the on my hand. It's pretty cold actually. <laughs> of course, but not good enough to let's say pour out some fires because wait a moment. Light of fuel. Cold. When exposed to oxygen, would it be good not to pour out some fire? Haha, <laughs> the other twist. It's still a flammable liquid despite the fact it gets in contact with the oxygen. But the fact here, shit looks still pretty cold. Well, I guess it gets the lighter here did its job, so might as well just uh, get rid of it now. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. At least I won't have any, uh, won't be afraid for you know my my house burning down because of this little pesky light or whatnot. But yeah, I mean, of course, the video here was just like a bit of basically like a a little challenge in a way, but also to get rid of like a very flammable hazard and whatnot. It can be quite fun, of course, too, for some survival tactics and whatnot, but still, you know, it's best to be a little bit more cautious with it. And of course, well, too, like, if you want to go to talk about some fiery stuff, I have also recorded some Fallout 3, and I'll, I'll be uploading them in a way. Then again, whatever, whichever video comes out first, right? But yeah, I have a, quite a lot of, quite a lot to do, you know. A lot of schoolwork to do about this and that and whatnot. And yeah, I mean, but, but anyway, I can go playing because it's fun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. I look forward to the next one. So I'll see you guys next time. And until then.